Hello and welcome to episode two of the What's In My Box series, where I go through my storage boxes of things like mini discs and cassettes and bits and pieces that I've bought mainly as a result of watching my favorite YouTubers like Techmoan and The Retro Future. Now I don't do any planning or tidying up before I do each of these boxes. I'm just picking them up um, one at a time, you know, the top box of the pile first and working my way through them. So some of it's a bit messy, but what I have realized is I do need to have a bit of a tidy up and I actually had to go and buy another box um, because I've realized that I've got too many mini discs to put in the first box and it needed a bit of a clear out. So anyway, this box is the second box in the series and this is uh, mini discs as well. Um, later on, near in the second half of the series, there's going to be stuff like cassettes and other bits and pieces. So if you want me to mix it up a bit and uh, not have just mini discs at first and then everything else afterwards, let us know in the comments and I'll mix it up a little bit. So this one's really a continuation of the, um, the first episode. Uh, and this one is more of my current playlists and a few other players and a few blanks that I like as well. So let's just work through it. It'll be a shorter video than the last one. The last one went on too long. So again, another MZN710. I've got two of these. This is the original one I bought. One of the earliest videos I did, actually. Some TDK blank mini discs. And this lot here is all a playlist I did um, of 1980s stuff. And I've got another... This one's the latest 1980s, you know, the late, latter part of the 1980s. And just over here, out of shot, I've got some nice Sony ones I did for the early part of the 80s. Much better in the early part of the 80s, much more, many more tracks. And basically I found all the tracks I liked that I could bear to listen to that I already had, uh, put them all on mini disc. So this really illustrates the fact that I don't go through these boxes first and sort them out because I've got bits in here which I've just forgotten what they're here for. So I do need to have a sort out, but I needed some extra storage space. So uh, thumbs up is just uh, my some of my favourite tracks, you know when you thumbs up something. Some of my favourite tracks uh, placed into playlists. Um, I'm not going to show, I'm not going to go through all of these, let's see if I can find anything useful. There's about five thumbs up ones there. This is an interesting uh, disc. This is a 60 minute disc. I think this was the first one that Sony made to go with the original Sony mini disc uh, recorder and player, the first one they brought out. Uh, I don't know why they chose 60 minutes, just I suppose because there were 60 and 90 minutes cassettes. But eventually it moved, everyone moved on to 74 minute discs because 74 minutes was the uh, length of time you would get on a CD, so it matched up exactly. And then that one was a blank one actually. And then after that they moved to 80 minute discs, just to squeeze a little bit more music on them. Okay, so now we move on to the players. The piece of uh, tissue is just there to stop this bashing around and getting scratched up. I think there was one of these in my first... Yeah, there was one of these. I've got two of these. Beautiful players. Um, I've got another Panasonic somewhere. There it is, which is a Japan one. But these really beautiful players, these ones, and they come with this speaker system, which you pull out like that. You put that in there and you can attach it with the thumb screw there. Um, and then it becomes a speaker setup, very tinny, but it all runs off the same battery. And this actually can charge, uh, you can, where's the charger, there it is. You can charge this uh, charge the battery in the player while it's in the speaker dock. So a really beautiful um, mini disc player. It's only a player, it's not a recorder. But I, they're really hard to find in really good condition and getting quite expensive now as well. So I'm just trying to look after that, make sure it keeps nice and tidy. Now we come onto a few stands. That's the stand for the um, MZ707, which I can't find actually. Oh, hang on a second. One moment, please, as one of my other favourite YouTubers says. If you know who that is, leave a comment. So that's for that. That's a charging stand for that one. This is the charging stand for the MZ N7 uh, 710s, rather. So the charger goes in there. It's hard to find chargers which fit in there at a right angle now. And I will be coming on to chargers later on. Because I found some quite good chargers on Amazon and eBay 
um, for charging uh, with the right voltage and polarity for charging mini disc players. That was a recent video, so this is just a few blanks which I like. I've got another box much later on in the series which is blanks which I don't particularly like. But these are the ones I like which I'll be eventually putting some music on. Empty box there. Christmas. Oh, right. There we go. So that illustrates it. Last last video, the first video I did, there was a red uh, mini disc without a case, and now I found the case. So I do need to have a sort out on this. I'm pretty sure you don't want to see me sorting out my mini disc boxes. Uh, that's the box. That's from the Schrodinger's Kitty mini disc uh, video I did, where I ordered some um, Victor mini discs, but they came in a um, Hello Kitty box, which was a bit confusing at the time. That's my other dock for the Panasonic mini disc there. And finally for this box, some of these TDK uh, WA series, really nice discs, quite hard to come by, especially wrapped, very expensive. If you find them wrapped, they're, wrapped, they're like 40 quid for five discs. But a nice selection of discs there. I've got playlists on them? Yeah, they've got some playlists. Like cocktail chic, so sort of cocktail bar music. Uh, very relaxing. Just a few of those. No, that's, that's handy. So I've put the playlist on there, but um, the tracks aren't separated, so I'm going to have to reburn that playlist. Um, I've probably done that from a CD. Uh, CD played in my um, PC and then uh, recorded by optical into a player. But it, uh, if the if the space between the tracks isn't at least three seconds, the the recorder doesn't automatically put a track mark into it. So that's probably what's happened there. So that's it for this box. So a much shorter video. Um, Links to the other videos I've done relating to some of these players that I've unboxed from deliveries will be in the description box. There'll also be a link to be um, to buy these boxes from Amazon. I actually ordered another one myself and it came with an insert. So let me get that one. So the link, link to these on Amazon, affiliate links to these on Amazon will be in the description. So this is the one I've recently bought. And uh, let me uh, move the camera up. There we go, these are the five and a half litre boxes. They do come with handles, although the one I received didn't have a handle on one side, but I take the handles off anyway. They just unclip like that. So I don't use the handles because when you're stacking them with the handles down, they, they um, push against the box below. Now there are 10 litre versions of these boxes. I think they're 10 or they might be 11. They are double height, but ideal for storing something which is taller than a mini disc. So coming back to this box, this one came with a, a tray, which I don't um, usually get when I buy these boxes. This one actually included a tray. So there's a link to the one with the tray in the uh, description box below. But the problem is with the tray, with these wide parts, it doesn't fit. The mini discs don't fit between the wide parts. And I'm not even sure whether they'll fit on there. Yeah, that's a bit of a tight fit. But these trays are detach uh, removable. So they'll quite make quite use uh, quite useful storage tray for something else. So I'll be able to use that in one of my deeper boxes later on. And just so you know, they're an ideal size for cassettes as well. And they will actually store cassettes. You can put the lids on. So if you stack your cassettes that way up, they still store them quite neatly and you can get three cassettes quite neatly in there with the dividers, which I'll also put a link to for Amazon as well. So in summary, check the description box for links to where you can buy these boxes if you want to get some storage for your mini discs or cassettes and also the other videos that relate to the items in the box. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.